something. Actually, at the, the World Social Forum, I was overwhelmed. I was done. The climate stuff was, was scary. I mean, just the climate change, the coastline shifts, the destruction of glaciers, ecosystems, removing whole mountaintops, scarring the earth, sucking out the shock absorbers, which is the fossil fuel, earthquakes around the world. It, 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 it became scary at these events where tens of thousands of people are dying. And it ain't just the earthquakes and tsunamis. And, and I was like, what, is, what are we doing? And it became a point where carbon ain't even a problem no more. It's not adapt. How do we adapt? Because we passed the tipping point. Two, militarism and violence. And these mercenaries. And people who love destruction and murder and violence. This, this, this whole system to normalize violence. Violent video games uh, where you beat up and shoot up people and laugh. You know, the destruction of creation. How do we socialize people to destroy creation? I mean, destroy everything. Just kill up, murder up, and then let's go party. Um, this whole belief system that um, to hoard and to, and, to, and to want to hoard capitalism and exploiting people all over the planet. I don't look at a tomato, a piece of fruit, no food, no clothes, no nothing without thinking about who touched it, who fixed it, who, who colored it. Was it a child? Was it abused? Slave labor? We have to be conscientious in Detroit on everything we make a decision on. And it's supply chain from the, from the soil to, to, to the dollar store, gas, oil, our clothes, our food, everything. And how do we hold those contradictions? That's why at the World Social Forum, they had a big giant forum on alternatives. Because people said, we're sick of the pushback. These jokers done destroyed the planet, destroyed the human community. What are we building? What does a, a resilient economy look like? What does peace, what do peace look like? They had this whole big forum on peace. What does it mean to live in peace? Like that's the ultimate security is peace. And we had this big, big forum on economics. What is meaningful work? How do, how do we construct economies where everyone has a livelihood? And, and not this worldwide system of exploitation where we get people that are multi-billionaires and the rest of the human family living on a dollar a day. That was total inequality. So I was done. I was like, this is too much. So obviously, going to the World Social Forum is literally overwhelming. It's how do you localize it? I keep thinking about our water fight here. I ran into some people, and I will tell y'all this, all over the planet, they privatize the water system. Detroit ain't by itself. Detroit is actually, um, well, I, it's all over the planet. They're privatizing all the commons and all resources they have commoditized everything on the planet to be traded. And sold stocks and bonds. And sold stocks and bonds and flipped it four times. And, and, and it's all smoke and mirrors. And it's a big shell game. The, the, the real power is the people. How do we come into Detroit and talk to people and, and tell them that you you the one that's important? It ain't Bernie Madoff mm -hmm. in no Ponzi scheme. It ain't the derivative traders on Wall Street, it's you. And how do we want to live here in Detroit? What's our quality of life? What's, what we hold in collectively, what's our commons here? You know, Detroit is, we have a commonwealth here. We get infrastructure, we get public schools, we got all this, that's right now in front of our eyes being destroyed. Right now. And I keep looking like, what is our collective and communal response? What's our individual response, and then what's our collective response? Are we going to sit back and let the commons get destroyed, our wealth get obliterated by people who want to commoditize our life? What's our response? Hell no. Hell no. I know it. So I, I, mean, I mean, that it was some fights. It's a whole lot of people, too. I will tell you this, that's opting out. They done went like Gandhi and said, I'm not going to buy your stuff, I'm going to make my own. So there's this wonderful local resiliencies, local culture, local crafts, local shoe cobblers. 
that's been popped up all over the world, making shoes. Oh, yeah, I tell you, they harassed her at Gory Island trying to fit, hook up her shoes. <laughs> Little boys out hooking up some shoes. You know, and I thought that was just like a, a tool of resiliency. Like what, to me, we get invisible capital here that we're not leveraging. We, we always look to a dollar bill, but Detroit, because of the wealth of our knowledge and skills, should have the world largest time bank that we need to build right now. So this is my solutions. How do we build a 100,000 person time bank? How do we build that? Like, where, where is it housed? Is it Michigan Welfare Rights? Is it e EMEAC that sits up the server? And we, like, the digital um, media, the DMAC, and the Digital Justice Coalition is democratizing data and, and access. Like, how do we get everybody online and plugged in? We working on it. Yes, we working, working on it. So there is the pushback, but there's also the co-creation. We building some stuff. So I just want to say with being overwhelmed, we build. Thank you. Thank you everybody for coming.